Chapter 9 Will Scarlet It was six months later, and Robin and Little John were walking through the forest on a bright spring day. The sun was shining through the leaves, and there were many bright flowers growing in the grass. Who's that strangely dressed man? Little John asked suddenly. His clothes are very bright. Robin looked ahead and saw a young man walking along the road towards them. The man's clothes were bright red, and he held a red rose in his hand. His hair was long and yellow. He looks like a baron's son, said Little John. He's carrying a sword. Is he also carrying a heavy purse, I wonder? Robin and Little John waited until the stranger was about to pass. Then Robin stepped in front of the man and said, Stop, sir. You walk through Sherwood Forest. Do you know there is a tax to pay? Why should I stop? asked the stranger. And why should I pay you a tax? It is the law of Sherwood Forest, said Robin. First show us your purse, then we will let you pass. I can show you my purse, but it has no money in it, said the stranger. Now let me pass, or I will fight you. Then the man pulled out his sword. Robin and Little John laughed. <laughs> we do not want to hurt you, said Robin. We are two strong men. You have a sword, we have quarterstaffs. Will this be an equal fight? Then let's make it an equal fight, said the stranger. I will fight one of you with a quarterstaff. If I win, you will let me pass. If I lose, you will take my purse, though it has no money in it. Very well, said Robin. Little John can lend you his quarterstaff. Then I will fight you. Little John handed his quarterstaff to the stranger. The stranger put down his sword and immediately attacked Robin with the quarterstaff. Robin was surprised. The stranger had broad shoulders and strong arms. He was a very good fighter. Robin was trying hard to defend himself. This was not an easy fight. You fight well, said Robin after some minutes. You hit quickly. Where did you learn to use the quarterstaff? I fight. I don't talk, said the stranger. Then he aimed his quarterstaff at Robin's head. Robin lifted his own quarterstaff in both hands. The stranger hit down hard, and Robin's quarterstaff broke into two pieces. Wait! Robin cried. You win, good sir. Now, tell us your name and where you are going. My name is Will Gamwell, said the young man. And I am looking for Robin Hood. Why do you want to find Robin Hood? asked Robin. I had a disagreement with my father's steward, said Will Gamwell. Now I need Robin Hood's help. And why do you want Robin Hood to help you? asked Little John. Because I got angry and broke the steward's neck. I killed him, said Will Gamwell. Now the Sheriff of Nottingham is looking for me. So I have become an outlaw. That's why I want to join Robin Hood and his men in Sherwood...